The White House's National Security Council spokesman dismissed reports that Russian President Vladimir Putin was willing to negotiate with Ukraine as both countries continued to exchange missile fire. Putin sure isn't acting like a guy who's willing to negotiate, John Kirby told reporters in the White House. He's doing everything he can to try to put the Ukrainians on their back feet, which is why it's so important that this supplemental funding request that the president put forward gets passed, Kirby added, President Joe Biden has been struggling to secure congressional support for continuing American assistance to Ukraine. Negotiations continue over a broad legislative package that would support Ukraine, help Israel defeat Hamas in the Gaza Strip and increase security at the U.S. southern border with Mexico, Kirby said he was not aware of any band-aid fix that can be done if the funding measure isn't passed by Congress. The supplemental funding request that the president put forward gets passed. If there's no deal with Congress, what happens uh, once that's exhausted? I mean, will shipments of weapons just stop? There's always a, a lag of days if not weeks each time we sign out one of these packages so the things that were signed out on the 27th have not all been delivered to Ukraine that will come in, in, in coming days and weeks but after that absent supplemental funding there, there's as there's there's no other magical pot to dip into to, to try to get support for Ukraine so there's no other pools of government weapons that could be used temporarily and then refilled later so I'm not aware of any band-aid fix that can be done I mean I, 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 I don't want to I don't want to get ahead of the decision-making process here. I mean, we're going to do what we can to continue to support Ukraine. Um, but in terms of the kinds of security assistance that we've been able to provide and the frequency with which we have provided it every two weeks, that ended on the 27th when we submitted our last one for the year, the last one that we had funding uh, applied to. In the wake of this recent barrage, though, launched on these Ukrainian cities, what is the current U.S. assessment of just what the Russian military is t currently capabilities, capabilities? Interesting that they have to keep reaching out to other countries to shore up their inventory of artillery shells and missiles and, of course, drones. A lot of these drones that were launched in the last 72 hours were Iranian-made or, or Iranian-designed drones. Uh, we know that this war has had an impact on Mr. Putin's war-making capability, uh, particularly when it comes to munitions, artillery, drones, missiles. We also know uh, that he still has a sizable amount of his Air Force available to him, um, a sizable amount of his ground mechanized capability available to him. Um, and of course, his, uh, while his Navy has been challenged in the Black Sea, it's really only been the Black Sea of, uh, fleet that has been affected. He also has an advantage in manpower because Russia is just a bigger country. Uh, and he doesn't have to, unlike President Zelensky, he doesn't have to answer uh, to, to the Russian people about uh, mobilizations and, and you know, taking prisoners out of, uh, out of jail cells and putting them on the, on the battlefront. Um, he has gone through an enormous amount uh, of manpower uh, in the last two years of war. Um, and we know that he's gonna continue to try to throw manpower at it. All that said, Jonathan, that's on the plus side of the ledger for him. On the negative side of the ledger, Command and control in the Russian army is still abysmal. Morale, leadership, absolutely at the dirt floor. Um, they are still uh, heavily reliant on what, you know, long range kind of strikes because they've got that uh, available to them. When they engage the Ukrainian forces on the ground, they're not having much success. For so, this so-called ballyhooed counteroffensive that they were gonna launch themselves, they've really achieved nothing uh, in recent weeks and months. Uh, this is a military that still has not really learned uh, the lessons that you would think a modern military would learn after two years of war. The kinds of material we give Ukraine is given to them with thoughtful deliberation based on what they say they need.